hopefully these players play some quick series. Uh, we'll try and get you through as quickly as possible, you know, when we do make it to the finals. But uh, good luck, man. <laughs> it's going to be a late night for Well, no, you. no, no. My whole thing is, is do you want me to ask the show match players if they're okay with reducing it to a best of three? Like, is it that serious or what? Because I don't. Well, uh, shit, I don't know. They've already set up vetoes and everything, too, so. I mean, like, if What's he up? needs us to ask, I'd be willing to ask him just to see. But... Oh, well, we got some GM players. Let's get the introductions underway. Our red Zerg player in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. Uh, coming at us from Psystorm, it is Warren. And his opponent in the bottom right of Newkirk. From Eastloth, it is Young Future. All right. Uh, so we'll have to see, man. GM players always provide really interesting games, especially when we have a pool this early. <laughs> Starting it, it's it going to be one strong. of them. Yeah, like, all right. Set the you pace here. this is here. Roach Ravager? Oh, yeah. This is the map to kick it off, right? Like, yeah. I think so. Oh, man. Morrissey's pissed. I'm sorry, mm, yeah. dude. EU players. I feel so bad. Jesus, know, these guys right? are punching through 500 APM here in the beginning. The spam is real. I good. Power over nine thousand. He said, "I sure as shit don't. I don't lose the finals now. Stay up." <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I agree. You got this, man. In your delirious state, you, <laughs> you will rock it. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so we do see Reaper expand coming out of future. Nothing crazy, uh, as Warren really is the one who went that early pool and looking to kind of set the tone of this particular series. Yep. Uh, do you mind observing real quick, please? Yeah, man. Guys, welcome to my screen. view. It's pretty cool over here. So as I said, we do see that expansion coming out of Terran, just under halfway done. A couple of Lings making their way across the map now. Uh, as he is getting some vision. I'm sure that early pool, as we don't see a ton uh, of Ling production coming out here, was just, you know, kind of a safety pool. Make sure he gets speed out early enough to deal with any sort of Reaper that maybe comes out or, or anything like that. We do see a factory and a reactor come down, so this is likely going to be swapped for Hellions, like that kind of four, six, you know, Hellion into an early third base that we've been seeing a lot of Terrans do recently. Yeah. Um, so pretty nice by him. All right, thank you for taking over. I'm home alone this yeah. weekend, so I had to let my dog out. Where is it? Normally I could just be like, Mom, let me loaf. No, I'm kidding. Mom, <laughs> let the dog out. No. Uh, all right. So what happened while I was gone? A lot of lings were being produced and the flood has started. No, I'm kidding. But... Yeah, we actually, I mean, that spawning pool was for, it looks like now we see more lings being produced, but was just kind of for, you know, a safety to make sure that nothing crazy, if something crazy came out, he'd be okay. Yeah. Uh, but we do see ling production now. Uh, the Reaper will see this number, though, starting to make their way across the map. This is a huge tell. Yeah, but he should be all right. He has the Hellions coming out. This is getting really, really popular to kind of um, get those early Hellions coming out. Or I don't know if it's getting popular. It's kind of always been there for the links, but I'm starting to see it more and more, so... He's gonna have so many by the time they get over there that I'm, I'm I don't know if they're gonna be able to find too much Sam. Oh, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> the banelings might. Yeah, man, this should be pretty nice. We'll have to see. Now it's pretty much up to future to hold these. He does have two Hellions and two more just about to pop out. So it is what he wants in this situation. Yep. And now he's forced in this really awkward position of come down here and try to save the natural and take the bane shots or let it fall. Uh, he takes a lot of the lings out though rather quickly actually. And now the bane is sent up into the reactor. Oh, and that last Baneling actually does get a good shot off. I mean, that was expensive to do, but he did end up killing two depots and the reactor off of that factory. So, I mean, if you're going to spend a lot of money to do something, you might as well get some damage out of it. Yeah, absolutely, man. So now we'll have to figure out what the follow-up is going to be behind this. Uh, the Hellions are out on the field looking for the Lings, but they are pretty well hidden. We'll have to see if he decides to go across the map. He might be able to find some damage, uh, but Warren knows that, and he's going to drop a spine crawler. Damn. Crazy ass game so far, dude. And uh, as is usual, the follow up behind this is going to be Cloak Banshees from the Terran player. Pretty, pretty common follow up to this. So, yep. Oh shit! He Definitely. says he's going to take a nap now, setting an alarm. I hope that pays off for you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how that goes here in about thirty minutes. We've actually had one player who had to go one time, and like we just went to the default third place player. It was actually crazy, but yeah, man, yeah. I, I got a lot of respect for the EU players that stay up until five, six a.m. just to play in the tournament. Uh, that's pretty hype. 
Absolutely, man. Hopefully this is a quick series. I mean, it's unfortunate if it's just cheese, 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 and it's over. But hopefully this is a quick series so that we can get uh, our EU finalists, you know, through. Definitely don't want anybody staying up to the wee hours of the morning. You know, that's that's rough. Yeah, but if you're going to do it, StarCraft isn't really a bad reason to do so. True that. I'm going to be up to the wee hours of the morning playing StarCraft. Oh, yeah. All right. So the Banshee pokes in here. Uh, Season of the Lair is down. Oh, Warren gets it, too. That was pretty nice. <clears throat> Yep, cleans up that Banshee. That's huge, man. Uh, not only is it just the damage that the Banshee can do, but it's also just the pressure of something being out on the map and needing to constantly pay attention, knowing that you clean that up makes it so that Warren can kind of ease back a little bit, uh, focus a little bit more on droning rather than, you know, where is that Banshee? Second one coming in, though, so. Oh, man, he was almost able to deny the third with the Banshee, but unfortunately it was just a little bit too slow, so he's going to see it go down, uh, start to peck away at it, but, man, he almost had it there from the Oh, maybe it's picking too soon. He might actually shut it down with a single Banshee. Yeah, there's no creep over here, so it's going to be really hard to get Queens over here to stop this. It eventually will be canceled. Nice. In the cancel off. And on the other side of the map, he's actually pooping creep all over the third two, shutting it down. Um, both locations, actually. So very well played here from Warren. Yep. The other thing that was really nice is Warren watched. Yeah, he did it for yeah. a second time there. He's been able to remake this hatchery. Um, and continue to delay this Banshee from doing any sort of damage anywhere else on the map. So very nice micro there by Warren. Yeah, that's so frustrating. Finally get a Queen over there to deal with it, and it immediately cloaks. So by the time the Overseer gets over there, he picks it off, and now it's back here hammering away at this hatch. Overseer's like, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, you're fucking way late, dude. Oh, man. Is he going to be able to deny it here for a third time? It's kind of looking like it. The Queen joins the fight, though, so it should be able to shoot it away. But uh, that was pretty slick there from uh, Warren, just canceling it and building it each time. Yep. Oh, Man, Jesus. Really might get it. That in here. Like, what the hell? They're pretty weird looking up. They are weird. Why do you got so many eyes? Like, so many eyes. It's got to oversee. That's fair. It's all in the name. Oh, he's gonna shut it down again, dude. It got so close. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, so it will finish, actually. The Vancy Five being health. shooed away, the hatchery will finish. How much health does it have when it's, like, finally all said and done, though? 1,500. No, no, no. The Banshee? No, the oh. hatch ends up with oh, 324. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, I'm not picking up what you're talking about, unfortunately. <laughs> I got you. All right, so Young Future trying to fly his third out here, but he had to kill a, a, an Overlord to get it out here, let the creep fade. It's always really annoying when you can, when you have to do that uh, to take your base, but it's a strong move from the Zerg player. I need to start doing oh, that, man. there's a drop, man. Or actually, Mutas are going off into the main. Future having to pick up his Marines uh, and bring them back up in here to try and fight this. One tank actually going down, so very well played by Warren so far. Yeah, this is pretty nice, man. He, he's just all over the map. He's sending over a huge aggression here into the third as well in the way of a lot of links. Uh, starting up plus one Zerg flyer attacks too, so these mutas will become even stronger. And they're just kind of picking off everything up here. There's no answer for him just yet. Oh, shit. He should be able to deny yep. this third as well. Ling's coming in as well, man. Makes this okay. They're taking kind of a bad angle of yeah. engagement here. Very well played by Future, maximizing the amount of damage that he can do. Oh, the veins. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This is starting to look pretty dicey here for future. Bane's coming in. They will crack oh, off on the man. Hellions. Third what a crazy-ass game significantly here. Significantly bruised, dude. Oh, yeah. It's actually on fire, too. If he's not able to repair it, he might lose it. But he has the SCVs in position. He should be able to save that. But that was some pretty strong aggression there uh, from Warren. It got 17 workers down with that. So pretty nice, man. Almost got the third, too. But unfortunately, it looks like it will be saved. Uh, taking his own fourth behind this, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm really liking Warren's position. Taking a look at the upgrades, at least Flyer Attacks Level 1 is about to finish. The mutas will become a little bit stronger after they have that. 2-2 uh, two -two just started for Terran as well as Combat Shield, so a little bit late on that. But um, not 2-2, two -two, but Combat Shield specifically. Yep. Um, yeah, he's just kind of been scrambling a little bit here, but he has stabilized at least for now. Yeah, he's still just trying to put on a little bit of pressure into this third. I'm not sure he's going to be able to take it with the amount of bio down there. So uh, he might have to back up, slow his roll, and wait for a little bit more Banes on there. I'd imagine that's what he's doing, uh, given the amount of Lings that are in production. I think I saw 24 before they all popped. So uh, he's getting ready to try to put the herd on, dude. If you look at the supply, it's 129 uh, to 106. So Yeah. It's a pretty significant lead there. Uh, changelings being dropped all over. Very nice by Warren, making sure that he has vision. Everywhere that he can. This has been a crazy ass game number one already. Like this is this is gonna be a pretty hype series, I think, dude. Yeah, I think so too, dude. <clears throat>
All right, dropping a lot of production here down to his uh, future, trying to get a couple more barracks up and rolling. Kind of flesh out that bio a little bit more, but I'd imagine Warren's going to try to attack before that happens, given the amount of banes he's making. Yeah. I mean, he's got the Muta flock at least, you know, pretty Jesus. big for now. Uh, this is I like this, man. Players that build, you know, a Muta flock but don't overdo it. It's really easy to, to just continuously build Mutas and you end up, you know, getting carved up by 3-3 bio and mines or Thors eventually. That's me. Um, putting that... Putting that gas into Banelings makes it so that it's so much harder for Terran. You know, I have to really split as a Terran to dodge just mass Banelings. But mass Muta, you know, doesn't isn't that scary. Yep. It can definitely be, though. But Yeah, he's trying to poke in here and find a little bit of damage. But as you said, there's just so much bio. The Mutas aren't able to poke in by themselves. So he's going to probably try to make a Terran sandwich here, I'd imagine. Uh, if he's able to get... Oh, no, the scans come down. That's not happening. Not going to happen. That's so many Banes, though, dude. I'm waiting for this final engagement here. Uh, Bill the Conqueror, how's it going, man? Oh, thank you for swinging through. Yep. How are you doing today? It says back on the night. Us love your stuff, guys. Awesome. We love you. Thank you for the continued support. We always see you in here. Oh man, he was trying to get a couple bane mines. I was hoping that could go off. I always love it when that happens. Oh man, here we go. Little mines are being triggered. Banelings rolling in. This is like a nasty number of banelings here. Future having to back up. Banelings getting split a little bit, man. Just rolling on Jesus. through. Yeah, trying to find a little bit of damage there. It was good splits from either player there. Uh, but yep. I'm not sure that he's able to hold on here just yet. He Ooh. has too much muted, unfortunately. But these reinforcements might be able to hold on. Nope. GG is called. And Warren will take game number one. Well played to Warren, man. Future did a good job, but he just wasn't able to hold on. Warren had, you know, just enough. And that's kind of what I was saying is if you had spent those, if you had spent that gas on Mutas, that attack wouldn't have been possible because you wouldn't have been able to bring in the Baneling number. And you can see that even the mass amount of Banelings that he had was just barely enough to clean up Future's army. So you really need just a ton of Banelings. All right, sorry about that. I had to let my dog back in. We're good to go now. Cool. And they said, seems like fair teams. Shots fired. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, did we get it ready from both? Uh, yeah, we, we can always ask. Cool. I got to grab some of my microwave. It's time for snacks, guys. <laughs> Man, I wanted to see those Bane Mines go off, but unfortunately we didn't get them. All right, both players are ready to go. We will jump into Honor Grounds here as game number two with Warren currently up one point. Oh shit, Spooky joining us. Ew. Homie gonna wish he had Widow Mines. <laughs> yeah. What you got in the bag, Giggle? What, dude? Motherfucking Wendy's, man. Damn. This stream nice. sponsored by Wendy's. No, I'm just kidding. Cool. I'm so fucking hungry when I woke up from my nap earlier, dude. <laughs> I was like, I need something that's just gonna, like, fuck my shit out. Woke up like he's out of, out of hibernation, just eating everything in the house. <laughs> I know, I'm like the reverse bear. Like, <laughs> I, like, you know, eat as I come out of hibernation, not before I go in. Alright, uh, let's get this underway here. Our pink Zerg player in the top left hand corner of the map coming at us from Psystorm and up one point in this best of five. It is Warren. Is that pink? Are we sure? Can we confirm? Yeah, I'm like purple, pink. I was just kind of <laughs> guessing and hoping that I got the right one there. And his opponent in the top right of Honor Grounds, the blue Terran. From East Slot, it is Lena. No, it is Future. Lena. Lena is upset. Seriously, dude. She's pissed. Mm -hmm. She wants some proxies or some cheese or something a little bit more exciting. No, I'm just fucking around, dude. Game number one was pretty hype. I'm excited to see how, how this series is going to pan out. Also, they said that this was an actual grudge match and not just like a fake grudge match. So I was kind of like worried that we were going to get a crazy amount of BM coming down. But luckily, both players have been uh, pretty respectful. So I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if he was memeing when he said it, but he's like, this one's serious. We don't like each other. I'm like, damn, you're just going to say it like that? Or like, <laughs> what's going on? But I, maybe he was just I don't around. like you. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. All, All right. right, man. So triple racks, triple racks, man. Oh shit! Breaking out the cuddle bear strap. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Um, Scarlet Bane Mines are epic. Yeah, dude, I really hope we could have saw some last game. That's something where I just don't have, like, the skill to do it. So whenever I get to watch it happen is always, like, I don't know, really exciting for me. Because I never get to see it happen in my own game, so. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Warren's gonna get off a pretty good scout. By the time it happens, there's already gonna be a lot of Reapers headed across the map. But at least he's gonna see it, like, you know, somewhat early. Given that it's a four-player map, it could have went a lot worse, I guess, so. Yep, for sure, man. Could have been diagonal. I guess that's the only way it could have got worse. But you you get what I'm saying. So I do. That was very deep analysis yeah. you gave there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to cover so, for you while you eat. I don't know why you're no, giving I'm me shit, man. Like, so hard <laughs> yeah. Over here. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> every time, like, I would say something and then I immediately stop, I mute myself and start eating my delicious. <laughs> stuff. So. All right. So the first Reaper is in. He doesn't quite yet know that it's full-blown cheese. I think he kind of has a sinking suspicion, though. Or maybe that's just that GM game sense as he plops down his fine crawler uh, immediately down into the natural. So. Yep, absolutely. This Reaper continuing to be annoying. This queen here, though, should get a nice, you know, a couple shots off on it. Has to send it away for now. Future doesn't want to lose those. Every Reaper is so important, especially now that the grenade uh, nerf took place. This the, the damage output of this build, you know, really got nerfed by that. Yeah. Yep, you could say it got reduced by half or something. Oh, wow, my fucking boy. Oh, yeah. fucking I was trying to I fucking mean, shots fired, and instead I I'll walked away embarrassed. Chat yeah, for that wah, one. wah, wah. <laughs> Dude, four hours fucking gets my voice every time, man. For sure. I need to figure out what, like, voice exercises people do to keep their shit from going all the way. You need to fucking it. drink, like, what is it, like, warm honey or whatever? Seriously? Like? What? Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. Warm honey. Coach throat. Yeah, I don't know, man. Apparently, if you yell a lot at your monitors, you just get a fucking squeaky voice uh, but I think this is the correct move here from Warren he's gonna try to get across the map uh, at best withdraw the Reapers back and, and then at worst you know just kind of slow down the inevitable aggression uh, but the latter happened here oh damn dude I love watching this come uh, at the GM level because it looks so much different than the way I play this like oh man those lings had a little bit of an opportunity there without the wall being up for future to do some damage but ends up backing off it and you know Take some damage on his lings because of it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Now we're going to have to see. They're starting to get a scary number of Reapers. As you said, the the grenades got um, nerfed a lot, but they can still represent a lot of DPS if you can land them correctly. Uh, Ravagers are coming into play here, which will help out a little bit uh, for Warren. But Yeah, dude, these ro this small group of Roaches and Ravagers are really, really great in addition to uh, you know these lings. The lings, you know, they have the opportunity to get a good surround on the Reapers, but they can also take a ton of damage from nades and just random Reaper shots. The Roaches add a little bit of staying power, and the Ravagers add a bit of siege potential here for this army. So, um, unfortunately, most of those links get cleaned up, and now I look like a fucking idiot. Idiot. Gosh. All right. Bill the Conqueror <laughs> saying Lena is loving the Nidus. Yeah, man. That's our mascot slash guest caster. No, I'm just fucking around. But, um, With the deep baritone. <laughs> yeah, seriously. She's so scary, dude. She sounds like a monster, and she's like the sweetest dog ever. It's kind of funny. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I, what's not funny is the amount of... <laughs> Roach Ravager Lings all up in this base. Uh, he's actually going to get the reactor as well. Force the SCVs to be pulled, get two of them in the process. This is looking pretty strong here for Mr. Warren. Oh man. Do you think Future's going to be able to hold on here, dude? I don't know, man. Warren has done a damn good job of get, you know, reducing the number of Reapers, but no, now that there's a tank, I think this yeah. push is going to be done. The third base is down for Future. You know, I'm liking Future's position a lot here as we see Warren doing what he can to back up, trying to set up his own third. Yeah. But Future doesn't want to lose these Reapers, though. Yeah, well, I mean, it's 32, uh, 33 workers to 19 workers. So he almost needs to poke down. If he doesn't get this wall down, basically, right now, he's, he's out of the game, man. Like, you can't come back from that worker depth. Well, you can come back from that amount of worker depth, so don't get me wrong. But it'd be really hard for him to do so. As you said, uh, Future already has his third up and rolling. It's not down just yet, but it is an orbital, at least. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And with that tank kind of shutting down this aggression, uh, I'd say he's looking uh, really good right now. Yep, these Reaper is going to continue to be annoying, try and poke away at the Lings, taking great trades on those, man. Reducing the number of Lings is just so great because Warren needs every bit of defensive stuff that he, you know, can get right now because what he wants to be doing is building drones to make sure that his economy is, is where he wants it to be. But he also needs enough to defend against these Reapers and every single Ling that dies is just, you know, his defense becomes weaker and weaker and, and these Reapers now are going to jump up into the natural area. Honey and lemon tea is good for the vocal cords? Nice, man. What about limes and tea? Because I don't have any lemons at home. Or I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I have some lemon. 
potions, maybe. I don't know, but unfortunately, these Reapers aren't going to find as much damage as they kind of wanted to. They're in a bit of a hard place now. Oh, there we go, actually. They get three drones for their trouble. I didn't think they were going to be able to find that much damage with the amount of Queens and Ravagers sitting right there, but I guess GM players, pretty good. Um, so yeah, there's still no third base faster. down there. Yeah, that's a little interesting, man. Okay, there it goes. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, like, he's been up for a while, and I know he's dealing with a lot of shit, but he could fly it down there and get it rolling here. Yeah. Says the diamond to the G. No, I'm just kidding. I know, like, right? Yeah. This guy's going to find you afterwards and fucking it's ladder. Like, dude, I will smurf you so you. hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. The rest of your night is being smurfed by fucking future for dying. Same shit guy. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Past of Terran is his smurf account or some shit. I'm like, why do I keep getting this guy? I don't understand. Past of Terran. Damn, dude. It's the best <laughs> thing I could come Yeah, I don't know. This is the best That's thing fair. I could come up with. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of exhausted at this point. Past the Terran, that's funny. I don't know what his smurf account would be. I'd laugh if he actually has that shit. Like, oh yeah, Giggle, who's laughing now, dude? Yeah, for sure. He's like, yeah, that actually is my account. All right, so both players kind of just dropping back, trying to stabilize a little bit and figure out how they're going to proceed and, and kind of what the transition is going to be. We have a lot of bio slash tank coming in for future of Terran. Uh, I think he should be able to hold out given the amount of Ravagers he has, but I, I don't know. This is going to be a pretty strong push. Uh, a lot of roaches are coming into production, but they're not quite here. These tanks represent pretty strong damage. Oh, they're going to get planted side by side, though. Almost takes it has to dodge some biles there. Very nice by future. But um I mean he has two tanks and the roach number is starting to get up there. If he's able to buffer for these, he should be okay. But I think Warren's actually got enough to push through these. As he does split, tries to get some good biles. Okay, actually, no, he doesn't. GG. Man. Alright, things are now tied up. Man, I future made that look, you know, much different than the first game. Yeah, absolutely. I thought Warren was gonna be able to push on through there for a minute, but once it got up to like 30 workers versus 19. That was kind of the beginning of the end there. Mm -hmm. Sheila Reef. Oh. Nice, man. I love this map. At least we got to see it. Sheila! <laughs> uh, warm water in general is good for the vocal cords. Coffee, tea, plain warm water. It doesn't matter. Anything warm. Hmm. I hear uh, puberty is also good. Oh, fucking correct, <laughs> dude. <clears throat> Right. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. I just expected it. And I just expected <laughs> just to come shit on me all night. Like, that's how it goes. So That's cool. If I have to be StarCraft punching bag, so be it, man. Someone has to be, right? That's fair. You were also the man who found the shark. So, I did. You know, I get no credit for that price, one. Dude. Yeah, but I get no credit <laughs> for that one. But damn, man. That one pisses me off. Uh, So, cool. Young Future needs to use the restroom real quick. And we will jump into game number three all tied up. One to one. Lime and tequila makes you tolerate people. All right, maybe I'll just run with that. So when you guys make fun of me, I'll be able to handle it better. You just show up belligerent as fuck one night. <laughs> like... Slurring my words and shit. Trying to fight people through the internet, yeah. you know? Like... I'll challenge you right now. Like, you can't, uh -huh. dude. We're casting in the middle of a tournament. Like, <laughs> slow your roll, dude. Uh, br bringing me snacks makes me like you more than a friend. Dude, if someone wants to order me a pizza right now, gosh. Yeah. I'll pretty much be your best friend. I will smurf one of your accounts all the way up to Diamond 3 in return, because that's all I can offer. Oh shit, cat stream. What's he doing? Like trying to type? Making moves on the <laughs> burger, dude. Oh shit, I see. No, I swear to god, my cat will lick the cheese paper, dude. My cat is crazy as hell. Yeah. I mean, this is like fucking vultures, dude. Yeah. Like, if people say it's the dogs you gotta worry about, I don't know, man. Cats can be pretty gangster, too, sometimes. True that, man. True that. What's up, man? It's the cuddles. It's the cuddles. He's probably looking at my profile like, shut the fuck up, dude. I don't care I know, about your right? opinion. Like, don't even talk to me about your opinion in this game, dude. Uh, but yeah, we're just waiting for one of our players to get back from the bathroom, guys. One second, one second. Uh, let me tap out though real quick and make sure that we still have a player. Did he log off of the game? That'd be hilarious. Legitimately just passed the fuck out. Dude, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, indeed. Oh, uh, yeah.
There we go. All righty. Both players are ready. We will head into Abyssal Reef, all tied up. Let's do this. Let's do this. What do you do on this map? Three Rack Super again? Or not press your luck? I don't know, man. You got a couple games to play with, like it's a best of five, not a best of three, so you can be a little bit greedy here if you want to, you know, do some some early aggression style stuff. Yeah, you have a chance to kind of double down on it and not like lose the series or anything. That's kind of why I do enjoy uh, best of fives, but either way, let's kick this off. Our red Zerg player in the bottom right hand corner of the map coming at us from Psystorm, it is Warren. And his opponent in the top left of Sheila Reef, Blue Terran <laughs> from Isla, it is Future says don't wish me good luck and then three racks ready for me oh right. oh got him there it is the grudge match has finally arrived boys i know right you thought it was a show match but you were wrong it was a grudge match that's how he explained it to me i didn't know if he wanted me to like say what he worded it how he worded it or whatever uh because as you said earlier we don't like to cause fake drama if where there isn't any but he told me it was a grudge match not a show match his words not mine so i don't know what, what the history is there maybe they're just memeing and they actually like each other we've had that happen on the nidus too i don't know like i i can't keep up with thousands of players personal dramas and all that stuff like i try my best but maybe they're just fucking around uh Circle, you need to be like the tmz of the esports scene dude what the TMZ. And be like the TMZ, yeah. yeah, you know. Today on Twitter, this guy called out another guy. Yeah, like I know, right? Try to stir up shit everywhere, basically. He said his cheese hit ten <laughs> seconds late. Boom. Uh huh. He called him a pussy for the three racks. What? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I can't do their fake narrator voice, but they always use that same extremely fake and generic like announcer voice. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, all right, looking at the game, we got a Reaper expand. No three Raxes this time or anything. Uh, we saw a really early pool, but again, I think that was just a defensive pool and had no intention of, of, of being aggressive with it. Uh, we do have these two scouting links. Maybe get over here and shut down this natural. That's always pretty good to do as a Zerg player. Uh, but the Reaper will be out. Is he going to wait? Oh, my God. Look at the GM skills. He's like, oh, oh wow. nothing to see here, guys. Move along. Move along. Now he'll be able to come in here and deny the natural. I fucking love it, Giggle Bear. Yeah. No, um, yeah, that was really, really well played by Warren. Yeah. That was like some GM level shit right there. <laughs> Dude, no. is he GM? Because he should be. All right, so All right. at least he'll be able to shut down the natural, which is pretty hype, as I said. Uh, he already has another SCV headed out there as well as a Marine, so it's not going to be like as game ending as I thought. Actually, he handles it pretty convincingly. It's a minor delay rather than shutting it down. So. Yeah, the cool minor delay, do, I mean, but then he also got one STV for his trouble and delayed the CC by a good amount for just two lings. Yeah. I mean, that's 50, 50 minerals. That alone is worth the STV, uh, not counting the mining time that it could do. So I, that was definitely a good trade for Warren there. Yeah, pretty much a negligible cost for the scouting information, right? I just wanted to use the word negligible, so, uh, you know. We're so smart over trying, Yeah, I'm trying to raise the IQ of the stream up just a little bit. Uh, we're hurting. Um, so we got a bit of a one 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 coming down for a future. And on the Zerg side of things, we have a shitload of Lings and Queens. He's going to try to hold it with just that. He should be all right, too. Uh, still no Bangling Nest or anything. Still no second gas either. So it's not going to be anything crazy there. Isn't there a website that you can buy people pizza online through? Some streamers use it? I don't know, man. If there is. Hint, hint. No, I'm just fucking around, guys. You don't have to order me a pizza. It was a joke. I'm just sitting over here staring at Giggle eating through his webcam for like 30 it's minutes so now. Good. I'm fucking stuck. Like, you guys have no it's idea. so good. Uh, passion makes me hungry, too. So, God. It does look good, though. I'm over here, like, stream watching. What do they call it? Social eating with Giggle? And, like, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. So, he has Banshees coming in with Cloak. That'll help out a little bit. But Roach Warren has started on the other side of things, as well as a layer two. Um, and he's kicking off his gas. So, we'll have to see... <laughs> how this goes man i don't know banshees versus roaches is kind of a crazy matchup yep absolutely it's definitely gonna favor the terran but the flip side of that is the roaches do counter the hellions that are out so yeah um it's pretty much anybody's game at this point future coming down getting a scout off of that third with the reaper so that's nice he does know that is up yeah yep absolutely so that overseer kind of saw the day or saved the day as you said i'd imagine we're gonna get a spore coming down in each mineral line oh we haven't just yet maybe he didn't see it coming across no! Is there even an overseer out? 
Oh shit, look at what we have in production though, Giggle. Please show us your Nidus Worm in chat. If you do lowercase Nidus, capital Worm, you have our emo. We don't have real ones, but at least we have ghetto ones. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped to see a Nidus on the Nidus, man. This Banshee though, completely shutting down the mining time of this natural. He's gonna do a drone pull and send him over to the third. So at least he has that going for him, but still no Overseer to kind of help out with this. There it is. There it is. Get over here, buddy. We need you. We we need you. He's still just sitting there. Does he know about the? Does he see this, hey. Uh, I don't. I, let me check his vision. Yeah, he saw it. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh no, no, no! I checked the wrong player's vision because I'm a dumbass. There it is. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> so the Nidus does come down now. We'll have to see. Does it get any damage? There is a Marine over there. It's gonna look at this. Report back to base. Yeah. Dude. Like <laughs> red alert. Wow. Red alert. So the oh, Hellbats are gonna actually deal with this really quick. Nothing should even pop out of here. If it does, it's gonna get literally One roasted. Shot. Yeah. A so. burning Nidus is the best <laughs> looking thing in the game. Holy shit! Did that you was see that? Cool. That looks yeah. so cool. I zoomed out unfortunately and panned away, but we got to see it in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So. You can say I'm Funka, basically. Another Nidus <laughs> coming down, this time in the third. So he should be able to unload here, and there's a bit of a move out here, too. Oh, man. Man, that's so many Hellions. Like, yeah. an ungodly amount of Hellions, dude. <laughs> and he hears the Nidus go down. He thinks it's in his base, but it's not. He's actually bringing up all of his shit into the third here. So he should be able to push on through here. This is a lot, a lot of DPS here with all those transfuses as well, man. This is a pretty scary force. Uh, and there's only really a couple Hellbats... Well, not a couple, but you know what I mean. Oh, there we go. Sniping it again. Burning yes, nice. dude. Yay. That looks so badass. I'd agree I with you there. It. Okay, this is a big force. Like, a definitely sizable force uh, from Warren here. And there's a ton of transfusions that can go down, too. But I'm, that's a lot of Hellbats, dude. I'm not sure that he's going to even have, you know, the time or the APM to transfuse fast enough once his Hellbats start to work. Yeah, once this single targeting starts happening, as we see now, they just kind of start melting. Unfortunately, Warren can see that this isn't going to work. Tries to load his shit all up into the Nidus and get out of there, but he lost, uh, you know, quite a few units in doing so. And then if you take a look at the worker lead, unfortunately, he's in a bit of a rough position. Uh, it's 46 workers to 33, so, you know, pretty significant. Oh, there we go. Railgan, the first person to drop the fake emo. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we made that, actually, Giggle made that through BTTV, so we don't have the real ones just yet. We're trying to get a sub button, uh, but at least we can give you guys some fake ones to play with. The fake, real sub buttons. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Morrissey has woken up from his nap. He said, thank God someone's cheating. Yeah, seriously, we're trying to make this happen for you guys, man. These players are just too good, though, man. Series is tied up. Emo's pizza is the best pizza ever. Guys, I stop. Mean, You're fucking killing me. Sick. Like, come on, what? dude. Don't you care about your caster here? Like, I'm Suck starving. Yeah, like... Pizza. <laughs> you guys are Jesse. assholes. Garlic, butter, crust. Oh, no, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. Clear, like, swag. Clearly none of you have been to Italy. Nah, man, because I'm fucking poor, and I'm sitting here casting StarCraft. Like, Dude, I was in Italy I one time, and we found this tiny, tiny restaurant in an alley. And we found out that this grandma was there, and we tipped her, and like they didn't understand what tipping was, and they gave us more food than I've ever eaten in my entire life. Nice. Either way, uh, though, yeah, I was like, sorry for the random segue. Here. You guys started me on this. There was a little bit of a miss micro there from Future, and he moved forward, took a little bit too much damage. Those Biles coming down, bringing those troops down to pretty goddamn low, and this is Ravagers versus... Okay, with that Liberator reigning supreme, man, I think that may be just enough. Cyclones are going to reduce this force down to pretty much nothing here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Even if he holds on here, he's still in a bit of a tough position because of the like the worker difference or however you want to call it. He has 15 roaches coming into production here, so that'll be able to shoot this away, and we can talk about pizza again, man. Um, pizza. No, I'm just kidding, but that was my favorite thing about the military. Like, the traveling sucked all the time, but at least you got to try a bunch of crazy food from all over the place, man. Rome had some of the best food ever, dude. Yeah. Just tip them, dude. They're like, what the fuck is this? Extra money for doing my job? You'll blow their minds and they'll treat you so good. That's a secret. That's fair. Yeah. Next time I may do Do that. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, that's a lot of roaches. And I'm not sure that, you know, with Future starting to back off and go more for a bio-based composition rather than the Hellions, that those uh, roaches are going to be very worth it in a big year. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Uh, so these rooks kind of caught in an awkward position moving across the map. Now they got to kind of tuck their tail and, and head back. Um, still, more Nidus is just raining down. I want to go check on him, but I want to make sure it comes up first before I start flipping the camera all over. Oh, yeah, shit. Three, the queen coming out of that part? Yeah. I'm wondering if that's... I was going to say, I wonder if that's just for creep spread or... Uh, Brogtoss is in the military as well. Have fun, my friend. Definitely been there, done that. Uh, so these Banshees poking into the third, trying to find a little bit of economical damage. They're getting down four drones, which is pretty good, but not like game ending or anything. Uh, it's trying to just be annoying and just pull further and further ahead at this point. It's 60 workers to 43. So, uh, Future's playing like a monster right now, dude. Yeah. I totally agree, man. And, uh, Warren's playing pretty well, too. He just is... On this Roach tech here, which, you know, may be good for a little bit, but I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be able to get away with this. This is a significant amount of Roaches that are moving up to the third area here. Um, and future, most of Future's army is moving down the center of the map, man, so it could get caught out of position. Yeah, we'll have to see, man. He's able to force the um, worker pool from the third, so that's always good. Okay, actually, it didn't last too long. Yeah, I think he kind of saw that he was beat there and decided to pull out. Man, he, he's really just fighting an uphill battle here, and I'm not not sure he's going to be able to hold on. He's about to be down in upgrades as well, as if, you know, as if the worker lead wasn't bad enough. So it's not going to be too bad. He, he just finishes up uh, plus one armor, but uh, Young Future's already started. Oh, shit. He's going to get caught off guard. No, man. Those banshees are okay. There's actually only one banshee, but at, at some at an earlier point there were two. Man, they are just they probably worth stole their weight in gold, dude. Over these roaches. <laughs> oh shit! Chat's getting fucking what? ridiculous. Yeah, I know, right? I'm here for the memes. What up, Dank Shrine? Welcome to the chat. Uh, glad to have you in here, dude. We got pretty decent amount of memes going down. You missed all the shit talking. This was supposed to be a grudge match and not a show match, uh, but they're being pretty chill. I'm okay with it. Yeah, man. I don't know that we're going to be super chill after this. This Roach army is more than likely just going to get demolished. Yeah. Ooh, whole position there. Looking all fancy. I think through the upgrades with that tank, he just pushes through here, man. Like, it's just going to be brute force. This oh, as I say that, though, the GM makes yeah. me eat my words. And <laughs> then Bile's coming down. As long as he doesn't take too bad of Bile's, he should be okay. The Cyclones will just rip through this, man. Yeah. Uh, the, as you said, that tank is just going to shell away at just about everything up on the high ground there. At the end of the day, though, Warren still does have the high ground, and that is not to be underestimated. Yeah, dude, he's trying to work on that tank with a bit of a bios, but unfortunately he doesn't get it quite down. As you said, it's just kind of down there, just destroying shit. Future turns, uh, going to stem up into this and start focusing, firing down those queens, and he, he's just starting to overwhelm Warren, unfortunately. And remove them, too, dude. So there's your grudge match. All these sacrifices for Sheila, man. Sharks eating good tonight. All this body's just floating up into the air. GG is called. Young Future will pull ahead one point in this best of five. Jesus. Very well played. Yeah, this has been a hype ass uh, grudge match, show match, whatever the hell we're calling it. Let me scroll up and figure out what it will be. Cactus. Cactus. So what do you think, man? Does he get the three-one, or are we gonna time up or tie up shit here? I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, Safe based answer. on game one, it looked really like Warren was gonna take the series. You know, he looked really, really strong. But futures come across in these last two games here and really kind of, you know, stuck up for himself. Yeah, definitely. He's showed pretty strong showings each time that we've casted him. Uh, this is our second time or third having him out on the Nidus. He had a grudge match before. Uh, and it, it was a really good night. I think he won that one as well, too. So, all right, yep. we got to go go from both players. We will head into this Cactus Valley, which will be map number four. I'm Swedish and I bash Canadians all the time. Oh, oh. Shit. shit! You versus the Leafs, man. Nah. Dude, this headset so crazy. I'm like out in my garage right now. He was like, I'm actually driving to the store to get an energy drink, and I'm right, still guys, casting okay. Starcraft, watching the stream from my cell phone. I got some beer, anyways. <laughs> the top left. No, I don't. He's like in the top right, dude. I'm just like, <laughs> No. It's like the the Protoss comes forward. It's like giggle. There's no Protoss in this game right now, dude. Like, what what are you talking about? But um, giving it an honest effort, dude. Just like going for it anyways. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Our pink Zerg player in the bottom left hand corner of the map, currently down one point in this best of five, needs to win this to have a chance. Uh, from Psystorm, it is Warren. And his opponent in the bottom right of Cactus Valley, the blue Terran, and apparently the future of Terran from Esloth. It is Young Future. The next person to talk about food in chat is getting fucking banned, dude. You guys think this is a game? Like, you're talking to What's a fat kid here. Food? 
Dude, it's I, your favorite food. I am just a uh, pretty plain guy, dude. Burgers and fries, man. Like, I fucking yeah, love cheeseburgers. I got a problem. Right. I like no, I like cheeseburgers too, man. I totally feel you on that. And there's so many variations. Like, you can put bacon on that shit, eggs, like, get weird with it, put chili on it. Like, I don't know. For I, I don't know. Don't get me started, dude. I'm so fucking starving. Oh, my God, dude. Pizza's pretty pretty up there, too. I just love yeah, food, pizza's good. Man. But I can eat, like, I can't eat pizza every day of the week. I can eat burgers. Like every day, yeah. Every meal, yeah. dude. Pizza put some meat in between some bread and, like, I'm ready to rip, dude. Sandwiches of all sorts, really. I know I'm probably oh. going to get flamed because I said put some meat in some bread, but I don't care, dude. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, fuck these guys, though, dude. I'm so done with food. Let's talk about the game, Giggle. <laughs> we have three <laughs> racks coming down. We got a repeat. He's just trying to get this shit over with. He wants his $10. It should be noted, by the way, the winner of this gets 10 whole dollars and the loser gets five dollars just for showing up and being a boss so both of these players walking away with a little bit of money here the riser rule the riser rule i know right i i don't think he wants us to explain why it's called the riser rule and i love the man so we're gonna let him dodge the bullet there you um, know what you don't think he i would be personally i would be honored dude i would be like man i fucking made it so that people are winning five yeah but every but time we bring it up he gets all mad at us i'm like dude you didn't play bad you were playing someone that had like 400 mmr on you it was to be expected my man but he thinks okay. we're we're clowning on him but i'm like no dude you have like the largest starcraft balls i've ever seen in my entire life straight up and he showed him yeah what is that guy like number one on pili pili is like number one on an a ladder right now be. like you played like in the top three dude <laughs> Oh shit, we got a grudge match, boys. He just found out about the three racks Reaper and he's fucking pissed. Uh, so what do you do here in a serious note? The Roach Warren is down, so hopefully he can hang on, but I mean. Game oh four. shit. Oh, okay. I was like, please don't be some crazy ass BM where we gotta tell them to tone it down or something, but I can deal with some lag. It goes from like fun and funny to like. Yeah, like all of a sudden this got dark as hell and these guys are just flaming each other. Nah. Guys, they asked us a question. We got to talk to the GMs. Yeah. Look, my name's <laughs> on the screen, guys. My I name's know, on right? the screen. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This sucks, though. You're the, the Zerg player, and you know there's a three racks Reaper coming, and you just have to sit here and, like, wait. Like, I... Oh, is it because we're on the East Coast server? Fuck, don't say anything, because then they'll get mad at me, but I'm pretty sure we left it on the East Coast server. If it comes down to another game, we'll ask him if we need to move to Central or West, but don't don't say anything, because then I'll look like yeah, an asshole. Yeah, I got you. Shh, guys, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Uh, but unfortunately, three Rax Reaper is well underway here, and uh, three more are headed across the map. Two are all up in the natural, and now Warren has to deal with this shit again, man. I know, right? So he will get a decent position on these Reapers, at least, his Queens uh, and the Lings. And just by nature of this map, you know, if, if Future wants to get up into that main, he's probably got to hop up on that ledge to do a hop up into the main. Yeah. And the Queens are much, it's it's much easier on this map to section off that area. You know, maybe get a spine down in that area, too. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, Brogtoss, I didn't know you were military, man. I got mad respect for our veterans, so cool. Thanks, man. I just wanted to give you that little shout out while you're in here. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to hold on here as more Reapers are just streaming across the map, dude A couple roaches are popping out which will help out a little bit with this but still man. Um, I don't know Kev Yeah, the I number of Reapers know. is getting to be a scary amount. There are speedlings though um, So, you know one bad engagement by future and he could end up surrounded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't mean to call the game over or anything, but this is definitely annoying to deal with. The thing is, though, is if you can crush it, you kind of don't win the game, but, you know, you're doing it in a really good spot here. So we'll have to see, man. He's definitely making all the right moves in order to hold this, so. Oh, man, these guys are talking about burgers. Fucking assholes, dude. I'm serious. Like, at, f at first it was just cute and memes, but now you guys are really being douchebags. How are the wings the other day? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um... All right, so we're going to have to see, dude. I don't know if he holds. He's, he's pumping out 14 links, so if he can get that surround, as you were kind of saying, he'd be in a really great position here. But, you yep. know, saying it and doing it is completely different things here. He's going to try to push into this, though. So, uh, holy shit, Future dropping is third behind this even. That might bite him in the ass here. Yeah, like, that's a pretty bold decision. I, I would never question a GM player because they obviously have, have leaps and bounds on my game knowledge. But, damn, dude, that's a pretty bold move. That's kind of the thing with this build too, is you end up, because you're spending most of your gas on Reapers, that you end up with just a lot more by nature of 
still building SCVs and shit with your build, but you yeah. end up with a lot of minerals, you know? So it's just kind of like... minerals, what do I do with them? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you can drop more barracks, but you still don't have the gas to support any sort of add-ons on those. So it's like, you might as well just try and take a gamble for the third, you know? Yeah. I'm going to agree with Apex, though. It, he fucking nailed it. When in Italy, avoid the typical tourist restaurants. Aim for the tiny places where the locals eat their less advertised. Yeah, like our shit was down in alley. It didn't even look like a restaurant. We just smelled the food and knew that it was a restaurant. But I, I would definitely mirror that. Go off the beaten path and you'll find some dang food. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I hate you guys. Dude, I'm serious. Stop with the food. Um, <laughs> Warren's trying to poke in here and, and try to get a little bit of damage done. Or maybe get that huge surround. But he sends all the lings away. Oh, God. Yep. And these Ravagers. And Future actually being... This is, you know, he's being kind of like preemptive with his uh, his grenades there. He's launching them before, you know, just to zone most of those roaches and Ravagers out, dude. And he's got the, you know, a number of Reaper where you can constantly keep going, you know, sending those in. It's kind of interesting to watch a Reaper grenade versus corrosive bile battle. Like, that's what we're seeing here, basically. Like, yeah. Um... Sorry, I'm so fucking zoned out right now, dude. I'm thinking about all these food we ate. <laughs> these guys are making me go down Memberberry Lane, dude. Uh, but either way, let's get into the serious side of things. Uh, Warren is actually shooing out the natural. Got him in a bit of a contain here, and this is like leaps and bounds on game number two of the series. He's definitely a much better position of holding it. He has his third up and rolling. He hasn't beat on economy. And if he's going to hold the cheese, this is definitely uh, the game that that happens, you know? Yep. What an interesting, I mean, it's rare that we see a three racks Reaper with a shitload of Reaper still out on the map, and, and Zerg is on Terran's side of the map. Yeah. Like, this is the most abnormal. Okay, we do see that tank being repositioned here. Those Lings are going to go down very nice. Oh, Ooh. the Bile Snipe with that second tank. That was pretty fucking hype. Unfortunately, the high ground tank is going to, uh, you know, for the most part, shut down this aggression, and he's forced to pack, but getting that second tank was pretty huge, man. Yep. Oh, man. Very nice by Future there, dodging all the Biles so he can get up on these, and he more than likely is going to get every single one of these. Yeah. Uh, I want Warren to win, though. Like, I know we're not supposed to say that as casters, but I want a game number five. I uh, do, but I feel bad for the dude. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. Okay. I take it back, I take it back. <laughs> it's like the one time that I actually <laughs> want the show match to end in a decent time, you know? Like... Yeah, I forgot about our EU boss. I feel so that bad for that fun. guy, dude. Like, dude, if he loses, should we kick him down five dollars? Same as the I mean, yeah, for like, staying up that late. Fucking six a.m. Dude. Oh shit, dude! We are actually getting surrounded yeah. there, having to panic drop grenades, and you can tell that his micro is kind of messed up here as he's trying to gather himself. Okay, he finally stabilizes. Yeah, I feel like it was one of those things where he kind of found out that he had kind of invested a little bit too much into economy there, and now he doesn't have any units to deal with this. So it's almost like he has to stop this push from coming, because uh, once it lands, he's going to be screwed. So far, there's really only one tank to deal with this, and Bile can negate that. So, oh, well, not the amount of Bile Warren has. He only has one Ravager. I don't know how to call this shit. Oh, he almost pulled the tank. That would have been fucking disastrous. That Jesus. tank is in a good position, but unfortunately, okay, there it gets to shooting, but it is not... In a position where it can shoot those roaches on the far side. Yep. All right, so he's kind of hesitant to pull this tank down. It's, you know, it's in a good position to defend the natural, but not all the way out to shut down this uh, aggression. So he is going to bring it down to the low ground. Maybe if he gets sniped here, there's not enough biles, as I said, to really deal with it. Um, but he is going to shut down the aggression for now. Let's take a look at the follow-ups. What do we got going on? Uh, Bane speed, Roach speed, Aspire. I have no fucking clue what he's trying to do as a follow-up for this. Mutas? Okay, Mutas are coming into production. Yep. Yeah. So that's a little awkward, that Overlord poop and creep down on the third, but the third's already down, so it won't hinder that at all. It's just gonna do um, but... oh, Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I was gonna say, just a crazy game. Uh, I'm liking Warren's position as he's, you know saturated up on a ton of bases he's making his way towards that spire and future is kind of still reeling and coming off of uh that that three racks reaper there yeah um you're just coming in there they will get shoot away by this turret try and pick up what they can at least for now yep uh morrissey says just saying the sun is rising at the moment fuck man i'm sorry i feel so bad and it looks like we might get a game number five too so uh, maybe you should just run down to the local convenience store and grab an energy drink at this point. We got you up all night, man. You might as well just push on through. No, I'm kidding. It's like, fuck you guys. I want to get to bed. Like, <laughs> no. yeah, I got to work at 6 in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yeah I, I feel really bad. But while we have you here, I should just point out that the last Saturday of each month, we do 
our tournament six hours earlier uh, just for you EU guys that always have our back. So maybe after this tournament, you well, you know, always come back. But if you want to participate, maybe you should look towards the last Saturday of each month. Uh, and then we'll tuck you in around midnight or 1 a.m. Just for you, man. I know, right? We'll That's why we did that. To bed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because we do get a good amount of EU people who show up, so we wanted to do something that's like... Yeah. And if it starts to be something where it's like consistent EU players are the people that that are making, you know, the latest round runs and stuff like that, I mean, maybe we'll do an alternating thing, you know, like every other... We'll switch off, you know, yeah. NA time, EU time, NA time, EU time, or something like that. But uh, we want to do something that's most accessible for, you know, the most amount of people, so... Well, if it's extremely late and, like, you're you're being serious right now, what we can do is default to, like, the third place player and throw them in the finals, and you can just bow out. Like, it, you know, it's up to you, but I'm not trying to keep you up if you really, like, really got to go to bed. So uh, call it however you want, man. I feel terribly sorry, but you're you're a bro for sticking up till 6 a.m. Uh, to play in our Plat Diamond tournament, man. All right, so we got a little bit of aggression coming up. Hopefully this is gearing up for the final battle so we can get our finals going. Uh, but this has been hype as shit. Like, I, I want it to end for his sake, but I don't want it to end because these games have just been phenomenal, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they really have, man. Uh, it looks like Warren's got to come over here, clean up this on the left side, and then possibly look to make this, you know, his final move here on Future. Future doesn't have a whole lot, actually, man. He's got some tanks and some bio, but he just, you know, wants this, you know, Muta Flock and Ling Bane group up. It's just going to, you know, crash into him like a heavy wave here, so... Yeah, this is going to be really hard to hold on for, especially as the multi-pronged aggression as it's shaping up to do. So, I don't know, man. This is pretty crazy. Um, fortunately for Morrissey, it looks like we might get a game number five. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Don't hate it. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Um, Spookbot selling out for us. Thank you very much, man. Nice to see you in here. All right, uh, so each player kind of backing up and trying to figure out how they're going to try to approach this. Uh, I do like this from Future Turn, trying to get in here and shut down this economy. Um, these, the main and the natural are going to be mined out here very shortly, so it's really important to start shutting down these uh, bases out here as they become increasingly important. So, Yep, absolutely, man. It's going to you know, have this drop up here to the top left side. Uh, that always kind of, you know, has the potential to do damage. Those mutas looking for it. Will actually find it eventually, so good on Warren for sticking with that. Yeah. Oh shit, these mutas might be able to get this drop shut down. Okay, he's gonna unload, but unfortunately that's gonna be the death of all of these units, man. Warren's just making all the right moves here. Now he's gonna be able to chase away all these medevacs to get them down completely full of units too, so... Uh, that was very nice for him, man. Take a look at the supply. It's now one, well, maxed out to 171, basically. So the beginning of the end has started, my friend. It can't be too much longer now. Yep, absolutely, man. Uh, Terran is moving out. You know, could take a, a really good engagement against these. There's a lot of lings, good amount of bane lings, but you know, a couple of tank shots, well placed tank shots, could take out some of those bane lings. That's a ton of ling. Oh Jesus, Nesty Jesus, came in. Jesus. The house. All right, so Cheese Wrinkle, I will address your comment in just a second. If I don't, remind me with the at the nidus so it flashes red, but I should be able to come back to it. Uh, but, you know, we're gearing up for the craziest sandwich we've seen in a hot minute. Yeah, there's plenty of banes, but the spread is just phenomenal here from Future. And also the, the tank splits, man. This is going to be really awkward to press into, but he's going to do it anyway. And here we go. The bane wings are coming in, trying to find significant damage. Uh, they find a lot of the bio, but there's just too much tank spread here. And I'm not sure he's going to be able to seal the deal. Oh, shit. The bio starts to oh pull down God. all the Ravagers. And Young Future might actually hold on here. I really didn't think that it was going to go that way. But because of his splits, man, he fucking just beasted that. Jesus, yeah, yeah dude, yeah, those like, pre-splits. Fucking Warren attacked from, like, three different angles, dude. Still, that was fantastic. Yeah, it's because those, like, four tanks that were all spread out, as well as the Marine splits, man. Future played that, you know, textbook, or, or however you want to call it. Oh, the fucking man oh, no! no! The man -Mules! I mean, I, dude. This is not I how I thought this game was going to go. I was all yeah. but ready to say... Well, it looks like we got our game number five. I'm so fucking sorry, Morrissey. Please don't hate me at the end of this. Uh, but Future probably heard us talking shit and said, I got some... Oh! Oh! He fucking threw his... Email. Oh, I hope he understands that the whole street just saw that. Man. Fucking got him. Uh, Warren still gets five dollars, though, so it's not like all is lost. Hold on, though. I mean, he's shooing this away yeah, with Ling's okay. knees. Up okay. to five bases, man. Okay. There is another Terran push moving out across the map. 
And what's most important here is this, give, this gives Warren time to bring in Baneling. He's just been streaming in Lings for the past however many, you know, seconds or minutes here. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Jesus, man, what a Dude. close game. He yeah. is still only having Lings, though. Fuck, well, yeah, look, this is high. I mean, it's 105 to 112, 111 to 112. So, I mean, he's just right there. Maybe just a couple of Banes or anything, really, but... Uh, oh, the Baneliness got sniped. Fuck, man. That, that's disastrous. Yeah. That's disastrous. Caster Curse, not just for the casters. Oh, man. We did put a hex on him, didn't we? Dude, we straight hexed the shit out of him. But it's not all over yet. I mean, I think you've got a good, pretty good point there. Picking up the reinforcements is pretty huge here from Warren. He's going to stop that tank from coming in. Uh, try to shut down the rest of the reinforcements, too. Get across the map, maybe, or something. Jesus, man. What a fucking game. I was all but about to announce that Warren tied up the series, dude. Morris, he's like, yes, Darren! <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, he's got to be feeling this, huh? Uh, yeah. Adroseth is now hosting you up for nine viewers. Thank you very much, sir. I believe that's the first time we've seen your name. Come on in and say hi. Either way, thank Ooh. you very much. Oh, the ultras. ultras! Yeah, man. We'll have to see. Oh Future picking up, too, in an awkward spot with Muta's all over his shit, man. So he's actually going to take a, a good amount of damage from this, and he needs to oh, find a way. God. Oh, that Ling is blocking the 4-2, man. So I don't know. Warren may be able to bring this back. Dude, if he fucking comes back from this, this is going to be the most BM game number 5 that we've ever had on the Nidus. Like, I am preparing myself for the salt. Uh, but I don't know. It, it, I don't... I, I... I don't know how to call it, man. Kindness plating is about to finish up, but so is plus three. Then you look at the worker count, it's almost tied up. You look at the supply, it's almost tied up. Like, you fucking call it, Giggle. I, I refuse, man. I don't know, man, but I'm not going to lie. Like, at Future's making a ton of fans from the BM and chat, but if he ends up losing the game afterwards, man, he's got it. That's quite a bit to answer to, so yeah. we'll have to see. Uh, Mutas are attacking <laughs> this base over here, too, with that Ling Burrow just being constantly annoying. Uh, Bio stimming up into what is the 700 base. For yeah, Dragon's exactly. Game. Base number 12 here is under attack. Uh, but they'll just come in just the right amount of time. They have kindness plating as well, as we kind of said. Uh, but this is what I was talking about. Because the first three or four bases have been completely mined out, uh, these bases just become so freaking important. So if you wipe all these satellite bases out, you pretty much shut down Warren's economy. Yep. <clears throat> And then you can kite the ultras for, you know, pretty much days. Yeah. Like, his main goal is to just not be wherever the ultras are at this point. Yeah, for sure. Um, this has been a crazy-ass series, dude. Like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I love this, man. I I'm so glad that we got to uh, cast this shit. And thank you, Marcy, for staying up for this, man. Uh, but now that Kiting is plating has finished up for these ultras, they represent a significant threat. He's going to have to load up and get the hell out of there. Uh, but there's not enough mutas to kind of start sniping these medevacs out of this guy. Oh man, that's a good amount of ultras though. They will get to swipe in here. Um, Future just doing whatever he can to abuse the corners of the map. Make sure to break those ultraless pathing as he just scrambles to get up this fourth base. Finally cleared out that burrow ling. More marines making their way up to those top bases there. Infestor's actually coming out now for Warren too. Yeah. So possibly off the back of good fungals and then you know massive swipes from the ultras. You know he could he could do some damage here. Yeah, we're gonna have to see if he has these fungals. Then now would definitely be the time to do. So oh, there we go. Fucking money oh! fungal. It's all over the place, man. I don't know that it's enough, though. A lot of the ground forces get cleaned up, but uh, there's still a lot of liberators raining in the sky. Uh, Tank joining the fight as well. What a game, dude. This shit is just ridiculous. I just want food now. This has been too much, like, activity for me. I, yeah, like, I mean, bet you wish you had those mules, huh? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Got him there, dude. Watch Warren puts his fucking PayPal in the the chat or something like oh, that would man. be like the ultimate yeah. like wow well, how did they know yeah <laughs> yeah all right so unfortunately though the the economy that i was kind of talking about is starting to happen all these bases are getting shut down and they were the only ones mining all these bases up here uh don't even have the option to mine so th this is starting to just really really get down to the scrappy ending of the game here if you take a look at the supply it's 115.74 so that's pretty telling but I, I hate to call it over because of the crazy shit that we've seen already yeah i i don't want to i don't know how to call this over either man like i wouldn't want to do that there's still a lot of bases out for zerg most of them are mining bases too not just larva bases or old kind of legacy bases or anything like that yeah but future has you know uh, a fresh base in his fourth Looks like he's going to fly over that command center as well to set up a fifth. What a game, though, dude. Like, this is just unbe unbelievable. Um, I'm not sure if he'll be able to hold on here, though. This is pretty strong. 111 to 84 supply. He has the AA to deal with his Corruptors. Uh, there's only a few 
Ultras with kindness though, they're getting single targeted pretty fast though. So yeah, man, this is the beginning of the end here. Morrissey, get that ass ready, dude, for that finals. Oh, the fumble shit. though! Every time I call it over, they just do some ridiculous shit like that. There are more ultras, more fungals out, but yeah, every unit that Future kills here, just so, so important. Yeah. A massive fungal oh. going down, gonna be able to clean up most of that, but most is not all. Yep. Should be able to come in here now, Future really putting the herd on. Yeah, it's the beginning and end, unfortunately. A bunch of links here streaming in, but that's really the only thing in production. And behind this, the Terran parade is coming. It's just, albeit very, very slowly. Um, so yeah, I, I think this is just a contain at this point. As soon as you shut down this one mining base, uh, uh, that represents the end of the war. Today. So, a uh, Jace. Yep. Well, we have a second here, though. I know that you had said it, but uh, our growth Seth, thank you very much for that host earlier. Uh, yeah, as Burglar said, I do believe this is the first time we have seen, you know, that particular name with the Nidus. So, not sure if you're new or if you're a returner or a lurker or whatever, but thanks again, man. We definitely appreciate that. I love lurkers, too. You don't have to be active in chat, man, as long as we get that uh, num No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so GG is called Future's a Monster. Uh, he probably earned a few fans. And he put